Welcome back to Let's Play Thief. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're still exploring Moira Asylum. Uh, this is not Moira Asylum. Oh no. Oh hell no! No, 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 no. Even the asylum is better than this place. I'm just gonna go back in here and uh, hope for the best. Oh, okay, that's much better. Oh, jeez. These are really bad enough around here. I don't need fucking Tommy stalking around looking for me. 317 NRY 842. Hmm. The headaches are getting worse. Some days I can barely see straight. I should be documenting my symptoms, but they come and go so rapidly at times that I'm not sure I felt them at all. All I can discern is that they seem to grow stronger the closer I am to Dr. Hunt's, uh, Huntfield's patients. That shouldn't even be possible. It could just be the mental strain of blocking out all the screaming. I swear he torments them on purpose and he knows it's my shift. I guess I should add paranoia to the list of symptoms. Oh, I don't like that. Is this? M10. That certainly explains a lot. no control, so it's very strange. Cash. I found a special cash today left by someone like me. Little pieces of copper coin as old as the city and a strange painting. We think the same way, so there must be more. There's a noise in the wall sometimes, a clicking that sounds like my heartbeat. I have to have it. I will have it. Soon. Hmm. This should get me into the female ward. Good. That happened. <clears throat> that 
was not there before. Night Warden on duty. Hmm. I hate this. And we're moving. Some kind of automaton. Great new information. 99 NRY 841. Dear Eliza, I know your opinion of me, but that doesn't discount the work I do here. Regardless of your personal qualms, I get results. The same can't be said for the coddling that happens up in the regular wards. How many patients have you cured in the last month, the last year? If your role as a doctor is too stressful for you, you might want to consider another profession. I hear the House of Blossoms is hiring. Hmm. That's very rude. Sorry about that. Oh boy. No way that can be the last one of those I uh, encounter either. Looks new. What am I looking for? Uh, yes, that's right. Go to six collectibles found. Um, what's up? I hate this place. Perhaps there are some kind of medical records that could tell me more. God damn it, now there's a woman down at the end of the hallway.
Inferno. Oh. I don't know whatever that is, but... I hate this place. You know what? It came up more than once, so fuck it. That's the name of the episode now. Heat and cold treatment. Melancholia is the symptom most reported by today's caregivers, for which there is a remedy both simple and effective. It requires the application of extreme heat to those areas of the body which may, to the touch, have the feel of clamminess or wetness. As for the drier areas of the skin, where one may find a vigorousness unbecoming of mortal flesh. What? The repeated uh, submission of the submersion of the patient into a vessel containing water no colder than an eighth of a degree above freezing shall draw from that body part the very obstinacy that so afflicts its owner. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Like every time I take a step, this place gets worse. door if you want it. Another goddamn light. Lessons for mental health. Repetition soothes the troubled mind. A lack of excitement promotes healing. Noise is the enemy of well-being. Obedience is the first sign of recovery. Okay, honestly, that one's not so bad. That feels like about what would be, you know, par for the course in a place in this era. Fuck you. I did it myself. Huntsfeld, Huntfeld's illness. 314, 842. Thurlow, Dr. Huntfield seems to have come down to the disfiguring ailment of the back. He has trouble standing upright and performing his operations. He asked me to examine him, but I'm afraid I could find nothing wrong. Of course, he then called me a failure and stomped away, so I neglected to mention that the back of his head is now entirely bald, or that his left leg is beginning to twist as he walks. I may suggest he try his own electrotherapy techniques. I'm sure his patients would be more than happy to apply the treatment on his behalf. Oh, shit! The abusive doctor is, uh, the thief-taker general. Sure. I didn't close the door. Well, neither did they, so thanks. Glad I found some of the, uh, collectibles, because I don't think I'm coming back to this level. <laughs> ah! Great. 
fucking. Got me better than most of the shit and, and uh. Cold fear. I mean, that first one where you're in the flooded corridor and the body jumps you, that scared the bejesus out of me, but, uh. That didn't feel good. Oh, Treatment Center. It's a very weird font. wonder if I could get there from back in the, uh, the Stompy room. As if it isn't going... Yeah, I went into all the patient rooms because I feel like as soon as I go in here, that guy's gonna come back. Not the monster guy, the, uh... Shit. Aggression again. 427 NRY 842. All patients have been exhibiting increased aggression of late. We had similar incidents last year when patient 18 was in the central seclusion. But those ceased with her removal to reformation. Still, the behaviors occurring now show disturbing similarities. Patient number 82 actually growled at me when I brought her meal this morning. A child should not be able to make those noises. All we can do is continue to provide the care that they need. I will not be responsible for sending any more patients to Huntfield's abattoir. Nurse Abermill. Patient transfer, 93841. It pains me to confirm your inquiry, but in fact, patient number 18 will go undergo procedure in room 3F as you fear. I thought we closed the door in that room of horrors years ago. The subject is classified for selective experimentation on the instruction of Baron Northcrest himself. This is the last time I sign a patient over to the treatment center. They need doctors, not butchers. Huntfield will be taking over the subject in all aspects. I pity the girl, Thurlow. May she find peace somewhere in her madness. Nurse Abermill. I've told them you were trouble, but what did you do? Show me. I didn't actually do it. Yes. No, mm. oh, it's the room again. Come on. Hi, Aaron. Wait. Oh, no, it, it really is the room. It's got those mushrooms that only seem to grow in the uh, other realm. She drew those on the wall because she could foresee the moment when I would be looking through the uh, keyhole at her. Great. She can't stay here! It's too dangerous! I 
have to go into that. You guys, I'm up here now. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Thief. I'm gonna continue looking around and, uh. Try to keep my heart rate under control. Later.